Sometimes when we draw an assembly drawing, the, the assembly contains a shaft. And sometimes that shaft is longer than we need on the drawing. So we only draw what is called an interrupted view of a shaft. So this is an example of that, where we're not drawing the whole shaft. Um, part of the shaft on the left hand, no, sorry, on the right hand side here is missing because either we don't need it or there isn't space to draw it. When we do that, we show the fact that it's a an interrupted view with this little um, conventional drawing that we call an S-break, sometimes called a conventional break. Okay. Um, we can do this for a shaft, as is shown in, in both of these cases, and here, or even for a pipe, which is what is shown over here. So in this short video, I'm just going to show you how we can draw an S-break in LibreCAD. So I've got here a, a shaft with a center line, and this shaft happens to have a diameter of 50 millimeters. And now we need to put an S-break on the end of this shaft. So I'm just going to zoom in over here a little bit and drag it into the middle a bit. Okay. So we're going to start off with our construction lines. And I'm going to draw a construction line to start with from the one end to the other end over there. Now, the gap that we will use is what seems to work reasonably well is about 10% of the shaft diameter. So remember, this shaft has a diameter of, of 50. So 10% of that is 5. So to start with, I'm going to draw two parallel lines. So I'm going to use the parallel tool, and I'm going to set the gap to 5 millimeters. Okay. So, and then I'm going to draw a line that is parallel to this line that we've just used, this construction line that we've just connected the two ends of the shaft, or the two ends of these lines over here. So there I've got one at five, and there's another one at five. And in fact, I also want one on the inside of the, the two outlines of the, the shaft, also at a gap of 10% of the diameter, five millimeters in this case. Okay, and then I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit by using the trim tool. So I'm going to say trim two, and I'm going to trim this one to that one and that one to this one and then i'm going to trim this one and this one and this one and this one so now we've got a kind of a little rectangle over here um, around the end of the shaft okay so that's the construction work that we need to put in place in order to draw an s break now let's draw the s break itself when we go back to the visible layer and i'm going to use this tool here, a spline through points tool. Okay. And I'm going to start at the center point here. And then we can just basically draw the, the, the spline. So I'm going to click over there and then onto this corner. And then over here. And then this corner again. And then back to the center. This corner of the rectangle. And lastly, on the end of the shaft. And then... I can press escape to stop. And there we have an S break. Now, one of the problems, if you if you notice in the textbook, this S break is, is neatly hatched in this oval part of it. Unfortunately, LibreCAD will not um, cannot hatch inside of a spline. So we won't be able to hatch this, but what we've got here is is sufficient. So let me let me run through that again. This 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 one is is this way up. I'm going to draw I'm going to draw it again, just the other way up for an example. So I'm going to undo that, and let's do that again. So spline through points, and I'm going to start in the middle, and go first to the corner of the rectangle, then the end of the shaft, corner of the rectangle again, center point, corner of the rectangle, end of the shaft, and escape, and we have. An ace break. Okay, thanks for watching.